Well, it's starting to feel like we're just seeing the light at the end of the COVID tunnel, and we're just starting to reflect on the whole year that's gone by, the property market, but also other things. And one thing that's particularly stayed in my mind is when Michael Gove said this. Uh, a scotch egg is a substantial meal. And that got me thinking, after we cracked the code on sausage rolls last year, where can you possibly get the best scotch egg along our wonderful coastline? But once again, do not fear, we at Salby's are here to answer the big questions. Now there is a whole list of excellent delis scattered along the Norfolk coast, and that can seem daunting, but don't worry, I've done the legwork for you. I've narrowed it down to the four of the very best scotch egg outlets. The first of which, stop number one, is a Thornham Deli behind me. <laughs> Before we get started with the first Scotch egg, I need to explain the scoring system because it is highly sophisticated and you will need to keep up. The scores are going to be marked out of four possible categories, the first of which is impact, and that will be marked out of five. The second category is crustiness, I want to know what we're dealing with. The third category is where it starts to get serious, because we're looking at the cross section. What are we dealing with inside? Is the egg perfectly in the middle? What's the ratio like from egg to pastry to crust? The EPC, if you like. That's a good property joke. And of course, category number four is the all important taste. Self-explanatory, but very important. But we're not done there. Four simple categories is sometimes not enough, and today is no exception. I have introduced two bonus rounds, the first bonus round, and this is where actually a point can be lost, and that is rattle factor. The second bonus round is the yolk factor. What I'm looking for here is the holy grail of scotch eggs, in my opinion, soft yolk in the middle. If anyone presents it to us, they absolutely get a bonus point. To summarise, we have four categories marked out of five, giving us a total score of 20 for the perfect scotch egg. But with the bonus rounds, they could lose a point for the rattle, or they could gain a point for the perfect yolk. Meaning, in theory, the absolute perfection of a scotch egg could get 21. It looks brilliant. It's actually kind of gnarly. It's kind of rustic. It looks properly homemade. It's got craters. It's a bit like a, a meaty moon. Definitely gets four out of five. Patent pending, my scotch calipers. Let's see what we measure here. Oh, it's mighty firm. And actually, there's quite a cross to it. Four out of five. If it doesn't shake, they don't lose a point. No lost point for them. Oh, gosh. Oh, the crust looks fantastic. There's a really nice, even cook all the way around it. I can see some herbs, brilliant amount of pork meat. I think they're just the right size egg they've chosen. As I said, the crust is encouraging. A four out of five. It's perfectly cooked, but it is not soft and a little bit runny. I have seen someone tackle one of these as a whole half, like a big meaty oyster, but here in Norfolk, we are people of culture, and that's just not what we're about. Tastes very real. You can tell it's all, you know, good, homely, proper Norfolk food. Love the amount of herbs. I actually have come back after we shot the first take and I'm upscoring this because it's growing on me. This gets a 4.5 out of 5. All of this taken into account, that gives us a total score of a very respectable 16.5 for the Thorn and Delhi Scotch Egg. That is going to be tough to beat, but we've only just begun. Can we find a winner? Who knows? Location number two brings us to Burnham Market, location of one of our high street offices. Behind me is Humble Pie, a firm favourite across all of us. <laughs> Looks like it was worth the wait. And do you know what? There's something quite charming about this little scotch egg. It's not quite as big as Thornham, but for different reasons, I think it's going to score very highly. What I noticed about this is it's very even. It's quite delicate, actually, looking at it. And you can just tell that someone cares about it. And for that reason, four out of five. Crustiness is next, and for much the same reason, it looks quite delicate and also very even, which I do like. It would be a crime not to give this any less than 4.5 out of 5. High stakes. <laughs> no, no rattle. And the cut is... Oh, it's good. It is good. Right, let's look at some detail. Not quite perfectly central, but I'm starting to wonder if that's even possible, but I've committed to it, so we'll keep going. There is a slight pork to egg cavity here at the top and bottom, and the crust isn't quite as thick. A little bit of gray around the outside. It is a beautiful looking egg. Three out of five. Favorite part coming next of the taste. That is very tasty. Good, real meat. This gets a four out of five, but no soft gooey yolk here. No bonus point. If my maths is correct, that gives us 15.5 for the humble pie scotch egg. Very impressive, well worth a visit, but I can't dwell on. We have work to do. 
Stop number three, we've taken a slight detour and come inland to one of my personal favourite shops, but I've never had a Scotch egg here from the Walsingham Farm Shop. I am getting quite full, but I'll, I'll persevere for you lot. It looks very good, good colour. It's not quite as heavy as I'd expect though, and for some reason that feels important to me. 4.5 out of 5. It's quite a fine crumb on this, very consistent, but quite delicate also. For me, 3.5 out of 5. The rattle factor for a possible loss point. No rattle, well done. <laughs> we found it! <laughs> it's happened! That is the gooey like we've been looking for. Give it two extra points. I do really like it, it's very pleasing, but there are some gaps between the pork and the crust, which means it can't be perfect. 4.5 out of 5. Big moment for old Walsingham Farm Shop here. Now this is quite interesting. The meat, I will say, I did prefer Thornham Deli, but the egg on this is an absolute game changer. The crust is just as good, so for very different reasons, I'm giving it the same taste score as Thornham at 4.5 out of 5. Scores on the doors for the Walsingham Farm Shop, 19 points. It storms into the lead, but there's still one left. There's all to play for. Last stop on our porky voyage is the Weybourne Village Store's beautiful store, beautiful location. I'm expecting big things. <laughs> Sun's out, I've got another golden ball in here. Let's go. Size is good, weight is good, got a fair girth to it. Four out of five. It's uh, not crusty in the traditional sense of the word. Look, look what's on it. I don't know if it's crisps or mini cheddars or, or even that flaky little fish food. Is that still a thing? Who knows? I hope that's not on my scotch egg, but it's different. I like it. Four out of five. Let's not forget the all important rattle factor, which so far has been a waste of time. Yep, sorry about that everyone. No rattle. I have wasted your time. Oh, it's soft. Good soft or bad soft? Time will to. <laughs> Hold the phone everyone, we've hit the jackpot twice in a row. What a time to be alive. I did get overexcited and give Walsingham two points, so this one also gets two bonus points. There's no symmetry, the meat isn't round, the egg isn't round. This gets three out of five on the cross section. I can tell the egg's gonna be a sensation. How's the meat? Well, I honestly didn't think I could be stumped by a scotch egg, but this is a real head scratcher. Um, it's very different. It's quite highly spiced. It is very soft and very moist. The crust isn't a typical crust. Some people might love it. For me, it's a three. That brings us to a respectable total of 16 for the Weybourne Store's scotch egg. Yet another one that you have to come and try. Back to HQ for me. Well, how's this for a mighty lineup? We promised you the four best scotch eggs on offer, and I think we've found them, but there can only be one winner, of course, and that is, drum roll please, very good, the Walsingham Farm Shop, take a bow, that is an absolute belter, but perhaps you disagree, or maybe we've missed your favourite entirely, let us know in the comments, and also let us know what you'd like us to go out and score next, because we're always happy to do the hard miles for you, in the meantime, we're going to get back to doing what we do best, and that is being the best independent estate agent in the county. got my calipers in here. <laughs> in danger of this being a pointless test, but we shall persevere nonetheless. <laughs> Crustiness next. Where did I put those calipers? Here they are. <laughs> Stop the press, egg fans around the world. We have another soggy. 